Hey guys, it's Garland from Texas Street Cars in the shop today. We have a 1994 Ford F-150. We'll go over all the details of it. The start of the truck is super, super clean. I know you hear that a lot, but underside of this truck, underhood, interior, everything is really, really nice shape. It is a XLT truck, so we'll go with the factory options first. It's a 5 liter V8 automatic transmission, 355 gear option with limited slip diff. Under the hood, this truck is really, really nice. We'll pop the hood here so we can take it out. All factory Ford stuff underneath here. Um, only change from stock would be a little cane and drop in air filter, but still has the factory Ford manifold, all that stuff. Really clean, nothing cracked. All the hoses are in good shape. The plastics are nice. Uh, the stickers are real clean. The top of the grill is not all marred up or nothing. Underhood is super nice on this truck. So you can look through the pictures and look through further detail of that. But uh, option wise, it's a Oxford white with Tobago green metallic two tone. So it's a factory two tone truck. We have the window sticker this that shows all the breakdown options. Uh, power chrome mirrors, the rear chrome step bumper, sliding rear third window on the rear window of it. Power windows, locks, tilt, cruise, all that stuff on it. So you can look through that. We'll post up pictures of the window sticker. But exterior wise of the truck, Everything's still factory. Factory Ford headlights, taillights, grill, badges, all the trims on it, and the trim's in phenomenal shape. No peeling, no, it's not falling off, nothing like that. All the plastics are really nice. Um, in the factory giant CB antenna. So when we got the truck, it was completely stocked. We did a suspension to it. It has a DJM 3.5 drop kit on it, which is their I-beams in the front, and then a flip kit in the rear. No C-notch on this truck. You don't have to C-notch these like the Chevys. Wheel-wise, is a torque thrust uh, chrome 20. By 8 and 20 by 10 in the rear. Kumo XSF PS91 uh, PS91 tires, 245 and a 275. These are like a 320 tread wear tire, so they handle pretty good. And it's got the right tech adjustable shocks, so you can kind of mess with that. Just had a professional alignment done out with the right bushings in there to get everything dialed back in. We have the sheet for that. Um, but besides that, exterior stock. The bed, you can walk around here and see the bed is. And there's a few little scuffs here and there, but no dents. The bed looks like it has ever, you know, rarely had anything in it. Oh, the pinstriping for the two-tone is all the factory stuff and in great shape. Paint-wise, you know, really clean paint on this. Raised attention to the details, did a paint correction and uh, ceramic coating. It has two layers of ceramic coating on it. Even the rear tailgate bands in great shape. Bumpers, no dings. No real dents or dings in this truck. Minus, I think there's one little tiny ding right here on the, the tailgate band. But really clean, no no paint, major paint flaws, no paint peeling, nothing like that. Interior is opal gray, it has the bench with the fold down armrest. And uh, factory leather steering wheel has the factory Ford steering wheel that still works, the lumbar, factory Ford rubber mats, dash isn't cracked, door panels aren't cracked, headliner's not sagging. Really, really nice factory interior on this truck. Um, has a little Flowmaster muffler on it with exhaust running out the side, but motor wise is still all stock. Uh, has window tent all the way around the front has a clear ceramic window tent on to kind of keep that heat out It has paint protection film put on the front end of this truck before it was ceramic coated So I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything else. So we'll post up the option thing You know, we took the underside of this truck is as clean as the top of it. We can look through the video We have some pictures and stuff of the frame is super clean Suspensions all nice and clean brakes work good all the lights work exterior interior cruise all that stuff is working AC is really cold in this truck so it's really fun to drive. You don't see these Fords a lot that haven't been tore up or a million miles. So 54,600 miles on this truck. I think I forgot to mention the miles. So low mileage truck, good ownership, clean Carfax, clean Texas title, really good sharp look with this two-tone white and teal or white and green Tobago, whatever Ford calls it. But we dig this truck. We've had some fun with it. It is a two fuel tank truck. Both fuel tanks work. We can flip the gauge and show all that. So we'll go take it for a spin. We'll do the underside camera and everything. Thank you guys for watching.
drive the F-150 around. I think I said the mileage incorrect. It's 53,684, not 54. So we'll go take it around the block. This truck has, uh, we've done one, of the, one other of these F-150s with the DJM stuff. We use their shocks. So this is the first time we've used the Ride Tech ones. And I, you know, I really like the Ride Tech stuff. It's, stuff. it's on my other personal truck. Uh, and you can adjust these a little firmer, softer, whatever your preference is. Right now they're set fairly soft, but this truck doesn't have any issues rubbing, nothing like that. It's not so low that you can't you know, actually use it a little bit. Uh, but it rides good. Power-wise, it's you know stock five liter. It's got the gear upgrade, give a little more pep. But AC is extremely cold in here. It's got this factory Ford cassette still in it. But the radio actually sounds good. Now the speakers are blown. The interior of this truck is just as clean as the outside dash is perfect steering wheel is really nice no you know tears or rips on it horn works cruise works it's like a fox body steering wheel i guess just like a fox body yes sir a uh, little overdrive button here still works odometer all the all the gauges everything's working good but it handles pretty good you know it's a big full-size full truck or full-size truck but with these tires and the ride tech stuff i like the way it drives and handles so we'll go spin around this little bumpy area over here and then take up on the highway uh, both fuel tanks work, the switches over here, all the lights work. You should see that earlier in the, in the video. But <clears throat> this really is a super, super clean truck. Underside, bed, engine bay, interior, everything is, is really nice shape on this. Uh, brakes work good. Let me show you this furious five liter here. Mission shifts good, no nothing leaking on this truck. Um, just really solid, clean old Ford. So we'll post up. I think we got over 100 pictures of this one, right? Yeah, it's like 140. Yeah, and we got window sticker, the original tape that came with these trucks. That I guess tells you about the greatness of Ford. What does it say? Oh, it's about the radio. Huh? And then we got receipts for all the all the work done to this, including the alignment, and all that stuff. So. We're gonna be at the stop sign for a minute. Um, still the Ford glass, still the Carlite Ford glass all the way around, I think I mentioned that, but no chips in the window. All the quarter windows are here clean. Colors a good color combo, nice gray interior. And I don't really like the red or blue interiors on the Ford very much, so I like this gray. Um, even the little turn signal, you know, windshield wiper stock is all clean. The buttons aren't all wore off anywhere on the interior. So really, really spotless, beautiful truck. I'd say it's more show quality than a daily driver. Paint's phenomenal. So if you have any questions, check out all the pictures. Uh, we'll put a link to the ad for this uh truck on our website in the description of this video so you can jump out there and look at pictures look at all the specs of it and everything vin will be on there miles all that so if you have any questions give us a call and uh, thank you guys for watching